Greetings hobbyists, this is Arsan Zavul, and in this tutorial we're going to have a quick look at the Machine Tools SmartVert tool. So if you've seen my channel before, if I just bring in a cube, you all know that I use Machine Tools a lot. It's the thing that brings up this really funky pie if I press tab and allows me to go into vertex mode or edge mode or face mode. And while this might not seem as quick as pressing tab and then one, two or three, that's because in my videos I'm trying to do things to make sure everyone can see what I'm doing. So I press it and then click. In reality, when you're using this, it's as quick as doing that. So click and left vertex, click and down edge, click and right face, and then click and up back to object. It's really, really quick to use and it saves loads of time. And it means that you know exactly what you're getting instead of when you go and press tab and you need to see what mode you're in and then press one, two or three. You do it just with one click and you're done. Now, the other reason this is great, if I go into edit and preferences and bring up machine tools and then come down and have a look at the options, so this is the modes pie that I've got activated here. Now what's useful about this is that this leaves your one, two, three free to use the different functions that are in machine tools. Now these are the smart vert, smart edge and clean up with smart vert being one, smart edge being two and clean up being three. There's also smart face, which is four, which is awesome as well. But these are great for time saving. Now this video is just gonna focus on the smart vert. I'm gonna do some other videos that focus on smart edge and smart face but I just wanted to do them as separate shortish videos so that they're titled really easily for people to find. So make sure you've got, if you're just doing this one, SmartVert activated, save preference if you need to, and then close that. So what's so great about SmartVert? Now I will say SmartVert has a lot of commands to it and some of them are quite easy to forget because they use a combination of different buttons. So they are a little bit annoying. And to be honest, I use two of them more than anything else. And that is that if you've got two vertices selected and you press one, it merges them at the last. Now that is just the same as if I click M and then at last. But you know what, when you've got to do this a lot, this really starts saving time that you can just press one. It's also got the benefit as normally I have one hand on my mouse and the other hand on the keyboard and having to come all the way to the M, which is the other side of the keyboard, means that I have to look down at my keyboard as opposed to pretty much automatically knowing where one is. The other thing that's really cool is say I've got these four vertices selected. If I press shift and one, it merges at center. And for me, for all the merge options, I pretty much use merge at last and merge at center all the time. So straight away, that's just saving some time being able to do this. Now this does have other functions as well. If I just delete that and shift an A and bring in a cylinder, let's just make that a little bit larger and I'm gonna go into edge mode and control an R and scroll up to give myself a load of edge loops. Now the other thing this does, which is really cool, is if I click that and then shift click that and then that and that and press Alt one, that will merge the entire line of vertices which is really nice because we're going there and one, there and one, there and there and one. I mean, it would get tedious as hell. So this is a really nice way to be able to do that really quickly. Now there is a trick to this and it can be frustrating if you get wrong. You have to do this in a U shape. So there, so first and let's say last vertex, then on the other line, that vertex, and then that vertex. And there needs to be the same amount of vertices on each side. So you do it in this U shape. So if you have a look at that again, there, 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 and then Alt and one, and they've all merged up. Now, if you want to do it the other way, it's just doing it the other way. And it's merged down. So whichever row you do last is the one that it's gonna merge to. Now, I really like this because if I just go into face mode and click Alt on that face, I can then come into something like here, go to extrude long normals, and do something like that and maybe merge it out and extend it out a little bit. And you've got this nice, interesting looking sort of sci-fi shape. And again, with machine tools, if I click on that and Alt and X, I can symmetrize that to the other side. So this looks really cool. Now, don't get me wrong. There are other ways of doing this. I could click that one, control click that one, make sure auto merge vertices is on, GG, and then move up. It's gonna do the same thing, but that definitely took longer than shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, alt one. It's definitely slower. Now the other thing this could do, and this, I'm gonna be honest, doesn't come up a lot for me, but it is something that's useful. If I've made this so that this is one face by clicking F, which obviously is not something good to do because this is now a non-flat face. If I press N and bring out my 3D print toolbox and check all, we'll notice we've got a non-flat face here. We can use SmartVert to fix this. 
if I just click there, notice not the outside one, the first one in, same U-shape pattern, and then Control alt one it will fill in those lines. Effectively, what I've just done is the same as clicking there, join, clicking there, join, and there, and there, and like, it's just tedious. It's so much faster to there, there, there. Control alt one and you're good. Now, as I said, don't use that one a huge amount, but it is definitely handy. Now this next one, regardless of how handy you find those, I think is probably one of the best things that I've ever seen, especially for something that is a free tool. So I'm gonna bring a cylinder again, let's just scale that up a bit, and let's say I want to move things around and I'm in edge mode, and I've got all of these edges selected. But if you just press Shift, Alt, and one, all that's gonna do is allow you to extend as if you'd selected all of these vertices just on the tip there. And it does whichever one your mouse is closest to. So if I'm there, Shift Alt 1, moves those. Down towards the bottom, Shift Alt 1, it moves those. Pretty good, definitely a time saver than having to swap modes over, especially if we go into object mode, Shift and A, and let's say I just bring in a cube, and I'm just gonna bring that over to the side. And let's say I want to move something around. I'm in edge mode, I was selecting this edge, I was moved that around to, let's say, there, and actually I want just this one, Shift Alt S, and then I can move that up. Shift Alt S and I can move that one, or Shift Alt S and I can move that down. So it just saves you that little bit of time. And that Shift Alt 1 is just sort of where your fingers are. If I just go back, I'm actually just gonna grab that one as well, and then Shift Alt 1 and bring those down to demonstrate the last thing of the smart vert, at least the ones that I know about. There's probably more. There's so many hidden things with machine tools, it's amazing. And if I just bring this up here, so we're above the object, this is gonna get really cool. So if I do exactly the same thing, I'm in edge mode and I shift alt and one, and I hold my mouse over the face of the other object and press control and then click, it aligns all the vertices to that face. I mean, it, that would take so long to do manually, it's untrue and you can do it in a click. And in fact, if I undo this, the bit that's really cool about this is if I just bring this somewhere over there, even if it's not gonna connect, I can go into edge mode, shift alt one, and then come over to here, press control, and it's done it. And it has lined these up perfectly. Now, to be honest, whenever I use this, I've normally moved the object above it for some reason, but I reckon this has got a load of potential uses to it if you want to do something. Now, one thing I haven't tried, and I'm gonna try it now, I don't think this is gonna work, is if I select both objects and go into edge mode, and shift alt one, uh, it will only work on the one object. So if I go into vertex mode, and A, shift D, and move that along, and then go into edge mode, and shift select all of those edges, and shift alt one, moves them all up. What happens if I press control? Oh, oh, that's got some uses to it. So we've now got these all in this perfect line. Hmm, now I'm pretty sure I can come up with some really good uses for that straight away. Like think about this, if this was some sort of engine exhaust on some sci-fi vehicle and you want those in a nice straight line, you've done it instantly. And okay, yeah, I could have done this by booleaning things out, but that's definitely an option. So there we go, that is the smart vert, all based around the one key and various combinations of either shift, control, or alt. As always, I hope you found that useful. Honestly, guys, go get machine tools. It's free as long as you go to Gumroad. So please do go to Gumroad. I mean, you can on Gumroad put in more than nothing and please do, these guys are awesome. Look at the work that they've put into this. And as always, if you found the video useful, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll bring the video in on smart verts relatively quickly just so that they're all together. And you don't have to wait too long to be able to use those. Have a great day, guys.